I got a comment on my last video saying that I can no longer introduce my videos with high sisters. Somebody said that as I get bigger and bigger on YouTube, it won't fly. And to that I have to say, hi sisters, it's Jake here. And I'm back with another video. The support on my Joe Rogan video was really positive, so I can't thank you enough for that. Also, thank you to all the new patrons and old patrons who support the channel. You rock. I've talked about Jubilee videos in the past, thinking that there were cut videos, but now I found a video that was posted by Cut called Trapped in a Box for 12 Hours with My Blind Date, and it sounds horrendous. I wouldn't want to be trapped in a box for 12 hours with my significant other who I've known for eight plus years. It sounds like a good way to drive someone absolutely bonkers and honestly I can't thank cut enough for putting two people through this let's see how this goes we put people in a box for a 12-hour blind date good idea I've decided to not do the dating apps anymore and I'm not really meeting anybody because I work so much and I'm very busy I'm not one to name shame but if your name's going to be crystal then spell it like crystal a couple years kind of laying low just past relationship traumas and stuff. So how long is this date gonna last today? Today, 12 hours. You think that if this goes well and Crystal goes home with this guy at the end of the date and they have dinner and they hang out and they, you know, one thing leads to another and they, you know, she could finally say that she hit the quan. I didn't expect the box to be this small. I didn't either. That sounds horrifying. Meeting someone for the first time and being stuck with them in a tiny, tiny box with cameras on you and needing to find out what this person is like and like how they tick for 12 hours straight seems like a nightmare. Okay, time is starting now. It's 9.23 a.m. Sorry, I didn't even <laughs> introduce myself. What's your name? My name is Crystal. Quan. What if they like automatically hit it off and they're just like, um, nom, 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 because that's how you kiss. And then they have to turn off the cameras and then it's like, oh, this blind date went well. Talk about if you're attracted to each other or not. Do Let's just talk about that. No pressure. I love the hair, so I, I like the bangs. Big, nice smile. Thank you. So, yeah, you're attracted. Okay, here we go. I definitely like your smile. You have a very nice smile, and I like your style. Talk about if you're attracted to each other or not within the first 30 minutes of meeting. By her reaction, you can tell that she's not attracted to him off the bat, and that makes me a little sad. Yeah. So you dated a lot. I mean, like, I would around but i had like one serious girlfriend how long were you with this person 10 months that was the longest gotcha what about you longest oh, is five and a half years five years wow it's, yeah it took up a lot of my time he's been with someone for 10 months at the most and she's been with someone for five and a half years and they broke up. So it seems like they have different interests. He maybe just wants to hook up and peace out and she is looking for a longer term partner and that's okay. We are not even 45 minutes in and they both want different things in a relationship. On your hands, one to 10, how's the date going so far? And then Quan, same thing. After one hour, are you falling for me? Four, <laughs> my God. I thought that he was super pumped about it. What is your pet peeves in, in men? people that spend all their free time playing video games. If I wake up at 4 a.m. and I hear you screaming at the video games. Fair. <laughs> I don't scream at it any, anymore. I don't scream anymore. As of last week, I've actually ceased all of my video game playing activity in preparation for meeting Crystal with a K and H. People have really weird feet that can't date them either. Oh, I have like a missing toenail right now. Do you guys want to show each other your feet? No. I like feet, personally. Well, not like that. I'm not just gonna suck on a toe, you know, like- This guy sort of gives me sort of like creepy vibes where he's like, I'm not just gonna like fucking suck on your toe and like really like fantasize about like what you would say if I sucked on your toe and like, um, maybe I would like- <laughs> Never mind. Randomly, but uh... Do you have a foot fetish? No, I have a foot appreciation. <laughs> He's so uncomfortably straightforward. It's like the people who bring up their sex lives to you and you haven't asked about their sex life. The fact that you're telling me all these insane details about what you and your significant other do uh, turns me off from wanting to be near you. <laughs> See, it's missing right here. Oh, fuck, no, no. Yeah, it's kind of gross. I mean, it actually wasn't gross. Yeah, it's kind of gross. I take that back. <laughs> well, can I use the bathroom? Can I use the bathroom? Yes. Yeah. Please. Now that he's not here, are you attracted to him? Like physically, yes. But some of the stuff he said, I'm like... Are you comfortable like talking about like your sex life? I'm really open. Okay, yeah. cool. I'm all right, so here we go. Are you comfortable talking about your sex life? Because honestly, all I'm thinking about right now is <laughs> my hog. <laughs> Have you ever had like any terrible like sex experience? You know, like, and, like did someone like throw up on you or something like that? 
you're thinking about it because it might have happened. Does someone like throw up on you or something like that? Or like, would you throw up on me because I'm actually really into that? <laughs> okay, maybe I'm not so open. Um, I threw up on somebody. No! Oh! Well, that's not the reaction she was hoping for. I think that's what she means. Like, she doesn't like his maturity level. She's like, I did throw up on someone and like, it's so embarrassing. And then he goes, oh no! This is probably one of the most painful experiences in my life. During my hoe phase, let's just call it my hoe phase, okay. you know? She's going down on me, right? And then she really bit it. Like, what the on my, fuck? On my dick, you know? So, on my dick, you know? Yeah, where else? I don't like that an hour and 40 minutes into a conversation, he's automatically like, all right, so she was going down on me, you know? And uh, she bit it. Oh. Okay. What? I don't know, I'm thinking of questions. She's uncomfortable. Hmm. Let's see. What, what are you like when you're a little bit on the tipsy side? More fun? What are you like more fun? Because you fucking better be. You're boring as shit. Are you saying I'm not fun? Oh, sorry, that came off really <laughs> fucking wrong. Crystal, you close your eyes. Out of 10, how are things going? Mm, oh. <laughs> mm. No, no, I'm thinking. I'm trying to think of a <laughs> Show with your hands, show with your hands. Five. Oh, she dropped! Can I use the bathroom again now? God, he's got to fucking shit and piss all the time. Oh. Um. Nope. Oh, why is he so close to her? Oh, she's so uncomfortable. What's on your mind? Childhood traumas. Yeah. <laughs> Childhood trauma? Do I get into it now? You can. Um. Yeah. Oh no, we don't need to go there. She just doesn't trust him. We can talk about your childhood traumas right now if you'd like. And she's like, actually, uh, I don't, I'm not going to talk to you after this, buddy. Cross your legs over like this and pull your oh, knees. Oh, yeah, this is a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. <laughs> just stretching. My parents were so bad together. Oh my like God, they're laying down. Me and my brothers were like actually happy. My dad married the worst person I've ever met in my entire life. I feel like she's like trusting him more now, I guess. Maybe he was like, just fucking lay down and like, either this could be pretty nice and genuine or he was a douche, so. Hmm. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh, she's so uncomfortable. Five hours Bam. have passed. Woo! Can I use the bathroom again? Hands, where are you at right now? Do you think there's any possibility of it going higher? Maybe. I mean, we have several hours. Yeah, of course it's at a four because he's laying down on your lap without permission. No words, just being like, she's going to love this right now. Just don't turn my hair into a giant knot. No, I'll try not to. We'll be okay. He's like, where's my hug? He's like Curtis with extra greetings, but it's like unwanted physical contact. For five minutes. I can do that. You can't do it? I'm going to start laughing. Ew, ew, <laughs> that face right there. He's like the model face, but it's just not happening. He's. Oh my God. Ew, ew, ew. Stop. She's not into you. That's actually fucking disgusting. Why are you pulling her closer to you? Grabbing her fucking feet again. That's so nasty. And then the thing over the knee. <laughs> oh my God. Did it? Yes. You were looking left, I right, cannot. up, down. You just couldn't do it. I cannot. Mm -hmm. Something that I, I think we could have done a better job was just before any physical touch or anything, ask permission to each other. What? What? What do you mean? I have to ask like what? Like, I, I don't understand. I can't just like grab her legs and like pull her towards me and like open her legs. I don't understand. Yeah. You guys good for the last six hours? Crystal, I feel right. for you. Halfway through. Okay. Do I have any red flags? And that's okay, you can be honest with me. Um, yes, you do. Yeah, a couple. Okay. Go ahead. She's nice. I didn't like her for her name, but that's not very nice. Girl, your feet are pale. I know, well, the rest <laughs> of me is pale. Jesus. Looking like raw chicken. Looking like raw chicken. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's not very nice. He's like testing out his material on her. Your feet look like raw chicken. And she's like, oh, I'm looking for something serious. And he's like, no, you're pale as fuck. Like, I don't want to be near you. <laughs> True. Give me three reasons why I shouldn't date you. Good question. I dare you for us to 
kiss each other on the lips. <laughs> so he said truth or dare. And then he said, I'm not gonna dare. I'm not gonna do anything cliche. Like just to, like have his kiss or something. And then he, what, 30 minutes later goes, actually, you know what? I take that back. Uh, can we kiss? I would love an alcoholic crush. Sure. Oh. I'm gonna do the thing. Okay. Where are you at? Okay. It went up. That's good, I guess. We have someone. Oh, your ex? Yeah. No, you're just immature and really don't want anything serious and you play video games and you scream and uh, it's pretty great. So uh, actually I want to date you. <laughs> it just completely flips around and she's like, 10 out of 10, this guy is the one for me. He reminds me of my ex and he's an awful person. One, two, three, four, I declare them more. Yep. See, you can't get my thumb down because of it's... <laughs> ah, ah, here we go. <laughs> Ew. Which I don't think I'm gonna be able to accomplish is to like buy my dad a house. You no, know, because he grew up poor. Yeah. You know, like get him in a comfortable living space. And I just don't think that's gonna happen. We all want things in life, right? And most of them are unachievable, but that's okay. Oh, they switched socks back. Motherfucker, do we have a You're doing uh, okay. Yeah, I'm alright. This is his last straw. This is him throwing the fucking Hail Mary at the end. Alright, here we go. If I pull out the tears, maybe she'll enjoy this time. Has your change, score changed since? Past couple hours. Oh, bad question. It's been moving. Oh, it has? Mm -hmm. oh. I won't tell you where. That's okay. Or I how. Need to know. Again, trying to fix it. Therapy. But you know, like. <laughs> ah! Therapy, he says, but he's doing self therapy. Interesting. Now, what would you say is wrong with me? What would you say is wrong with me, if anything? <laughs> like, what a weird question. God, my ass is hurting so I much. I know. Hey, you want to massage my ass? Because it hurts just a little bit. Like, you know, like. A little something like that. <laughs> a whole hour. A whole hour. Okay. Okay. Oh, that he went down. After we leave this box, I'm gonna have a little. It's like, man, that's gonna be kind of sad. It's like, oh man, we are talking so much, and it's kind of like your presence here for 12 hours. And now it's gonna be missed. Like yeah. Be, you know what I mean? Yeah. This doesn't really happen often. Yeah. <laughs> Telling me, I need a therapist. <laughs> I heard it. Are you I gonna give it a shot? No, but I, I heard it. Kind of an asshole. A new friend? Yeah, met somebody new. A genuine connection, I think, yeah. Learning about yourself? I apparently need a therapist. <laughs> we did it! It's been 12 hours! Wow! Let's go! Oh my god. 9.30 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. That's crazy. Oh! My god! If I do, it will be on like a friend level. Yeah. I think we'll get some fun friend dates out there and do some fun things out there. I believe so. Wow, the full unedited 12 hour cut. I'm not going to watch that. Oh my God, that sounds horrendous. I, <laughs> I can't believe that that's even a thing. I hope that they really got compensated for that. Wow, that's, that's insane to me. Thank you Cut for putting two people in another uh, uncomfortable position. Something about Cut and Jubilee. They nail it with the uncomfortability of human interaction. Finding frat guys and shy women and making them interact. It's really nice and uh, I'm curious to know her side of the story. I didn't expect him to do, like, to pull my legs towards him uh, at the six hour mark. I'm surprised that nobody went completely bonkers. There have been videos like this where they lock someone in a room for 12 hours and they have to think about their lives and things and it just makes them go crazy. So I'm glad that they seem to be leaving this somewhat okay. But then again, I think that cut would probably edit out the parts where they're pulling out their hair and banging on the walls. If you liked this video, subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Check out my Patreon if you haven't already. I do a weekly podcast there and I post unreleased content there. Check out my podcast with Jacob Sharp called All in Our Heads where we talk about our illnesses and our sadness, which is really fun to watch. I will talk to you guys later. Have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching.